Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a neat trick for preventing particular cells in Excel or an entire row or column from actually printing. It's pretty easy to do and it's a pretty cool thing. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Now what I've got here is um, basic sample sales data or a database of all the salesmen, right? Anyway though, let's say that uh, we don't want let's say this guy right here to actually be printed or to show up in printing. Now it doesn't actually matter what this says, the only point, the point of this is just to show you how you can make it so that this row or this particular salesman doesn't show up when I print this document. Now first I want to show you what it looks like in the print preview as of now. All of the data doesn't actually fit so I'm going to go ahead and scale it really quickly. There we go. All right. So to go to print preview, go to the office button, print, print preview. Now we can see that all of the salesmen show up here. All right, so we have everyone. So let's go ahead and take one out. Now there are a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you two, um, maybe three really easy ways. So let's close the print preview. Now a really basic way is to simply highlight the row go up to the font box in the home tab and simply change the color of the text to the color of the background. So now it looks like there's nothing in here even though there actually is text, right? When we hover over it or I mean highlight a cell you'll see in the formula bar that we do have text in there. But now let's go and check it out for print preview. So office button or file print print preview and it just shows up as a blank space. So we don't see anything, but it does kind of look bad, right? You don't want to have this empty space. Maybe someone's going to look at it and say, hey, what, what's there? Why is there a blank space? You know, and then eventually find out that you were trying to not print something. Uh, it just doesn't look good though. So let's go ahead and get that back and I'm going to show you another way. The other way is you could simply hide the row, right? So let's go ahead and hide row eight. I'm going to right click right over the headers or right over the desired row. So right click, go to hide. And you'll see now that it goes five, six, seven, nine. So row eight is hidden. When we go to print preview, we'll see that it doesn't look too terribly bad. In fact, you can't even tell that uh, we prevented something from being printed. It looks seamless. So that's one way to do it. Now if you don't really like to hide, now to unhide simply select both rows on um, or a row on both sides of the hidden row, right click and select unhide. So to hide a row simply right click it and select hide. Now if we didn't want a particular column to show up we could hide that as well by right clicking over the column heading and selecting hide. So let's say we didn't want all of their phone numbers to show up. We want their email address but not their phone numbers. Simply right click column F and select hide. Then when in print preview it will not appear. Now in this limited case you may be saying okay well I could just select print area. Yeah and that's what I showed you how to do in the printing in Excel 1 tutorial, right? You could have just selected this as a print area. But if you have a large amount of data and you're doing rows, it's very annoying to select this as a print area and then select this as a print area and so on. Now the last thing is it's not really, it's called grouping, but it's kind of like hiding. So what we could do then is to select the row we'd like to hide or the column we'd like to hide, go to the data tab Go to the outline box on the right side and click the group button. Click the minus sign. Now row 8 is hidden once again. Let's check it out in the print preview. And there we go. It's gone. So that's just one more way that you can actually hide the row. And you can do the exact same thing with a column. The benefit of this, however, is it's easier for you to know that something's hidden right here because you see the plus sign within the box. Click that and it shows up once again. 
So if you wanted to hide a bunch of things here, or say you wanted to hide the ID number, the email address, and the phone number, you could select all three of them, go to the group, and of course I forgot you have to do it with one range at a time, so I'll do that really quickly and come back. So now you can hide the phone, email, and ID really quickly. All you have to do is click the one, and then all you see is a last name, first name, and job. But if you want to get the functionality of your spreadsheet back really quickly, so you can see exactly what the phone number is of the salesman, all you have to do is click two. Right, so you click one and two, and it's gonna make it so that you can quickly hide and unhide all of that data. So those are the three main ways for um, making it so that data does not pr print in Excel. Now there are more specific other ways you can do called, you know, re or related to the print area and a few other things, but if you just want to quickly hide specific data for printing once, this is really the way to go. And if you want to hide an individual cell, so you only want to hide this job title here, then your best bet for that is to make it the same color as the background because you can't really hide one cell like that very well. But those are the three main ways for very quickly hiding stuff for printing in Excel. And if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.